Ministre Laurier Sainte Marie. Mr. Speaker, more than 20 civil society groups in Canada raised serious concerns about military agreements with the Philippines. Yesterday, we found out that Canada sold fighter helicopters for hundreds of millions of dollars to the Duterte regime, which has a horrible track record in matters of human rights. How can the Liberal government justify selling these helicopters to the Filipino army when it knows that it could use them against civilians? What are this government's principles? The Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, we have not received a request for a permit for this contract. The Prime Minister and myself have both been very clear about our opinions regarding human rights violations and extrajudiciary executions committed by the Duterte regime, including when we were in the Philippines. I am going to conduct an extremely rigorous analysis of human rights for any export permit request linked to this contract. I'm Alt Sanich Souk. Mr. Speaker, one of the cruel ironies of this helicopter deal is that Philippine President Duterte, who's unquestionably presiding over one of the world's worst human rights situations, once admitted to throwing a man out of a helicopter and said he would do it again. This is a country where extrajudicial executions continue to be condoned by the President. It is absolutely clear that this deal would never be approved under the human rights standards required by the Arms Trade Treaty. So will the Minister stand in this House now and indicate clearly that there is no way that the export of these helicopters to the Philippines will be approved? The Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Speaker, we have received no application for an export permit related to this contract. The Prime Minister and I have been very clear about the Duterte regime's human rights violations and extrajudicial killings, including while in the Philippines. I will conduct an extremely rigorous human rights analysis of any potential export permit application related to this contract. I have the power to deny a permit if I feel that it poses a risk to human rights, and I am prepared to do so. Honourable Member for Yukon. 